Hi Aquarius, welcome to your case of the X reading. I will be throwing out four cards relating to your ex, how they're feeling, what's been happening with them since the split, things like that. So we'll have a look and see what's happening for Aquarians and their exes. Aquarians and their exes. I did have a lovely viewer recommend um, or suggest, I should say, that I look into these readings and I've decided I will do them. Um, if you like these readings, please make sure to give me a thumbs up so I know or, an, or, or drop a nice comment just so I know if it's something uh, I should be going going along with. Okay, Five of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, okay, and the Five of Pentacles. So there's definitely a lot of hurt and a lot of pain uh, with your ex here, um, Aquarius. This is someone that's uh, possibly delving into mild um, anxiety and or depression. The Five of Cups talks about sadness and loss. Um, this is someone that's very, very heartbroken, I feel. This is someone that feels as though their life has fallen apart since you've split. Um, I, I feel they have a good support system around them. They might have really close friends. You could have mutual friends. They could have really um, supportive siblings, um, work colleagues. They have a support system around them, and they've got people behind them um, that they can lean on and talk to and seek solace. Um, seek solace in however I feel like right now they're just they're so hung up on what's happened and I don't know if it happened really abruptly um, if someone was left someone did the leaving the five of pentacles someone was left out in the cold someone decided to just end it um, maybe it was you I'm not sure if it was them but this is remorse this is sadness this is second guessing themselves I feel like for some of you, your exes could be indulging heavily in the drink because we have a lot of cups here, a lot of spilt cups, um, and maybe they're resorting to alcohol or substances to help them overcome this overcome this pain that they may be experiencing right now. Um, I feel as though they feel really uh, helpless and hopeless because I feel like they were juggling so so much things for so long and they just couldn't make it work. I don't know if they were trying to juggle work, work in a marriage, work in a relationship, friends and you, two different people. I don't feel as though it's two different lovers. I feel it's more they were trying to just juggle so much in their life and they couldn't please you. They couldn't offer you the things that you were looking for. And I feel they're definitely really hung up on you still, Aquarius. Um, you know, you can see here, you know, there's a grey. I feel like they look around and their skies are grey. Things are dull for them right now. And they could definitely be indulging in, you know, substances or just feeling really sad, feeling really lonely, feeling like they've been left behind. Now, the two of pentacles, it's either they're thinking about contacting you and they're not sure how. Or they just have a lot of things that they need to juggle. They have a lot of things, a lot of loose ends they need to tie up. They have a lot of things they need to go through in their life. A lot of um, things they need to look over. I'm not sure if you've mentioned they need to do something different with their life. Um, some are thinking about embarking on a new journey. You know, there's a ship here. There's turbulent waters. So for some, they're looking at how they could revamp and change up their life. I, maybe you've given them life advice. Maybe you've you've said something that's really stayed with them, and they're really hung up on those words. And those words can't seem to seem to leave them. And I feel like they're in two minds of whether they want to contact you, whether they want to rekindle this romance. Um, I, there, there is potential there could be someone else around them, but I don't feel as though they're completely ready. Um, ready to take on a new relationship right now. I feel it's more they're juggling other things in life. I feel they do have a lot in their plate, lo a plate though. It could be finance as well. They could be really juggling their finances and maybe that's why you broke up. Maybe they were overindulging in finances or they weren't, you know, they didn't want to combine assets or finances. They didn't want to um, spoil you, provide for you, assist you financially, you know, regardless of the situation. I feel there's definitely some sort of juggling with um with, with their life here, with the Two of Pentacles. They also have the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is sort of a contradiction here to the Five. Sorry, yep, the Nine of Pentacles is a contradiction here to the Five because the Nine of Pentacles, as you can see, he's um, this person looks regally dressed and they're very happy with their surroundings. So I feel 
at work, they may be performing really, really well. It could also be they're throwing themselves into work. I feel as though they might do something to change up their lifestyle. So it's either they're going to buy, you know, a new house, a new car, a new asset of some kind, or they're going to spoil themselves with some designer top or a beautiful new dress or a nice spunky hairstyle, uh, you know, or a motorbike. I feel like they're going to spoil themselves to compensate for what's been happening, um, sort of in a way to show up and s like let you know that they're doing just fine without you. Um, anything to help them improve their attractiveness, their looks, because the the pentacles rule our physicality, so our looks, our possessions, our material things, our homes, anything we own, and that represents us, you know, through material objects, through material means. There's also money possibly coming in for this person, um, quite a lot of it, so that's why I said they could be performing extremely well at work and earning extra finances, incentives, rewards, grants, promotions, raises, etc., now, um, Aquarius, uh, you do have the Five of Pentacles here with this, um, with your ex. So there's definitely someone that feels left out in the cold. Um, this is someone that could be a bit unwell. Um, they could also have someone around them who's unwell. Potentially, they're looking after this person, or they've been really run down and unwell themselves. And um, you know, maybe it's a cold, maybe it's a sickness, maybe it's just like I said, it could even be anxiety. The Five of Pentacles is someone's being out on the left in the cold, someone needs help, um, they could even be seeking help. Um, some of you might even seek a marriage counsellor or a relationship counsellor or a psychologist or counsellor to help you overcome this or a spiritual leader of some kind to help you overcome the heartache, the hardship, the separation. Um, but it's definitely, I feel like the ex is going to ask for help. Someone is going to be offering help to this person. As I said, it could be, you know, they, they do have a strong support network behind them with the, with the cups behind him here. So regardless of the gender of your, uh, of your ex, this person does have a strong support network that's going to be behind them, support them. Could be a deep friend that they have, could be siblings, but it's definitely someone that wants to help them. Um, I feel like they've been treated unfairly for some of you and it might have happened really quickly and... Some of you might have just walked out, completely just packed your things, walked out, said goodbye, end of the conversation and going on about your life while they're still really hung up, um, feel really abandoned. It could be um, issues of, um, they may have even had abandonment issues and maybe that was just getting too much for you and that's why you needed time away, you needed space. But I feel as though seeing these cards here all together, it's more that they feel really abandoned, they feel lonely. It could be distance that might be separating a few of you. But they will I feel they will be run down because we see these people that are ill and unwell and asking for help. And I feel they're really, really hurt emotionally. I feel they're scarred. Something happened here. Um, it could have been, you know, deceit. There could have been cheating involved. Someone could have been dishonest. There could be a lot of pain. Someone could have really fallen head over heels crazy in love with you and you know you've left them and you probably don't realize just how much this person is in love with you but there's very very strong feelings um but you know they're holding back because they're definitely in two minds about how to contact you if they should contact you they're juggling a lot on their plate i feel that they have other it, it's either they have someone ill that's around them someone that needs taking care of um it could be at work it could be clients and customers, but I feel as though right now they're just in not in the best mind state to contact you and talk to you, but they're definitely still thinking about you and definitely still hung up over how this happened, what was said, what the words that were exchanged, what was said or what was not said, what was done or what was not done. They're really still focusing on that. Um, but yes, I hope that's, that has been insightful for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much again for joining me. Um, again, please give me a th thumbs up um, if you like these readings and you'd like me to continue doing them. Other than that, thanks again for joining me and hopefully you'll be visiting my channel again very, very soon. So thank you so much for your viewership. We'll chat soon.